One of the cool things about having an iPod is being able to put your pictures onto it. Hi, I'm Rokaz, your digital lifestyle expert, and I'm going to show you just that, how to put pictures onto your iPod. One of the first things you need to do is to hook up your iPod to your computer by putting on the cable and hooking the USB port to the USB port on your computer. Next thing you want to do is to launch iTunes. You see, iTunes is the porthole to get things on, manage, and get things off of your iPod, which makes it awesome to have a computer-based interface to be able to do that. What we want to do here is that once we've connected it, we'll see under Devices, here's our Rokaz Media iPod here. We're going to go over to Photos, all right, and what we want to do here, now nothing's selected, so we're going to sync photos from. Now here's where your choices come into play. You can either sync photos from your iPhoto library, if you manage everything through the iPhoto protocol, uh, or through your generic pictures file, which is part of your default inside of your documents, or you can choose a folder. In this case, I like to store all my photos, because there's a lot of them, in an external device. Let it load it up, and then I'll take the external device on and off at my leisure. So I'm going to choose folder here, which launches a finder style window. Navigate down over here to my external hard drive. I'm going to go down to DCIM, which is where I keep my pictures, down into here, and then you can see all my JPEGs. All I have to do is click open. This changes it. Sync photos from this folder right here. Now, there's a certain level of photo that you use uh, that displays best on, on an iPod. But sometimes you might want to be able to show other people um, or download or give them to the photos also or back them up in their full, full, full quality. In which case there, the iPod will actually store a copy in its drive space of what it looks like, to, uh, uh, a second copy in full quality. And all you have to do to make that happen, a full resolution, is to click that. Now we've got that set up here. We simply hit apply. You're going to see that it's syncing. It's optimizing the photos. Do not disconnect. When it says, I sync complete, OK to disconnect, you may do so. And now you have both all the photos you choose, or as long as your memory will allow, and full quality to share if you're out and about for other people to, uh, to download off of your iPod unit. So that's just that easy. Choose them, sync them. I'm Rokaz, your digital lifestyle expert, saying, stream you later.